I've even this morning read a report sadly where the problems that can be put up from being too dogmatic and being too demanding and being uncompromising can be really destructive. The report I'm thinking of is, is one prepared by some, the, some, some organisation called CAFCAS. That's a child and family support service that aids the court in dealing with the contact proceedings, which is those sort of proceedings you'd adopt to try to see your child. In preparing a report after meeting with the father and the mother and the child. Now, a report that I've just read was obtained within one of these disputes. The dispute came about because a child decided that she would not go and stay with dad. Dad thought this was all about mum saying no there's something wrong there, don't go. Dad was convinced of this and because he lost that contact for, I think it was a week, if memory is right, a holiday time, he wanted to change the system to make sure he was able to have the contact that he felt was right in the future. He made the application to the court. The application to court, however, meant that there was input to that court system that just fed that anger and frustration from his point of view because it gave the mother opportunities and a space to criticise and undermine his viewpoint about what should happen to his daughter. And so, in fact, the contact deteriorated. Deteriorated now to the extent that the report I've just read is suggesting that the child concerned is scared to spend time with dad because she's observed dad's anger. She's observed dad's frustration and poor comments about mum. And she doesn't want to go. And after a lot of analysis, and we're talking about court proceedings that are probably 18 months old, the recommendation is that his contact is limited to cards at Christmas and birthdays. From a position where that child previously stayed with him for a whole weekend on a fortnightly basis pretty regularly, that's a disastrous result. It's probably disastrous as much for his daughter as much as for dad. Uh, and uh, I, I was acting for this dad and it's really unfortunate that the reality of having to work even against the odds, with somebody that's views you may not support, but for the benefit of the child concerned, is really an objective you have to try to take on board. And if you don't, there is a destructive area in this part of the law that does not help you as a parent, and certainly doesn't help the child, unfortunately. Hence, try to resolve it through mediation, try to resolve it collaboratively, because that actually maintains a level of cooperation that means that the future contact arrangements have a much greater benefit for the child.